subject that we're going to print today is Cornus alba kessel ringii that we've got here. Now Cornus is slightly different to the Salix in that we are not going to take all the growth down. It's still called stooling but we're going to take every other growth down. Reason for that is the Salix alba that we pruned previously but that's a really vigorous plant and by pruning all the growth back it can respond to that extremely well and the regrowth is fantastic. For something like the Cornus alba, it's a bit weaker in stature than the Salix alba. So if we pruned all the growth down like how we did to the Salix on a yearly basis, it soon runs out of energy if you do it year after year after year. So what we do with this, we do every other growth on an annual basis. So they, this taller stem here with the side growths on here, these are the ones that we're going to remove and these smaller ones are the ones that were pruned last year and we're going to rem uh, these ones are going to re be retained. So this one we're going, to, we're going to take down. Now normally you would prune it back to about two buds but then if you did that year after year you would leave quite a leg on there so very often I just prune it back to around about one bud. So I'm going to follow it down and I've got a bud, got a bud just here actually, so I'm going to prune it just above here. Now, just asking our camera uh, lady, Sharon, Sharon, can you see this? Yeah. Excellent. So just to show uh, on here, where if you were pruning it, unlike the Salix, which has got one bud, which is called an alternate bud, you've got opposite buds on here. So, and instead of um, pruning one bud on a slant, we're actually going to, if you're going to take this, you're going to prune just above the buds, but in the middle on a slant, just like this, and that would be ideal. So if the rain came down, it would come on this cut and then fall down the back and not onto either of the buds here. Now that's exactly how it should be, just a little bit above the bud. If I pruned it to here, That would be too close. That area would dry out and it would kill both the buds on either side there. Uh, and then it, if that died out, it would go down to the next bud. And if there wasn't a next bud, well, that shoot would die out. So there we are. So that one's going to get removed completely. This is an older one, this particular one here. So this one's going to get pruned. bottom here. I'm going to prune the next one down to here. Again removing these. Keeping this one, this one, this one's going to get removed. Just removing these down to round by one bud. On your exams, if you were doing an exam on this, you would uh, do it to two buds of course. So I'm going to remove this one down again to one bud. So that's our finished article, this one here. We've left all, the, all these growths here. Uh, they will turn into the bigger ones that we've just removed next year. And where we've cut them down to here, where we've cut them, they will produce new growths and they will be this size next year. So it's done on a rotational basis. Now the reason for that is that these are going to uh, leaf up well, they are already leafing up but they'll be in full leaf in a few weeks time and these leaves will start to photosynthesize and produce sugars that will be carried all around the plant and the sugars that they produce will be carried around to the areas where we've just pruned and they will feed these particular areas give the energy required for the new growths in these areas if we pruned all of these growths back there'd be nothing for the plant in terms of uh, for it to leaf up and photosynthesize. So therefore, uh, these, these areas, they've got to, uh, where you've pruned them, they've got to find their energy from somewhere. So they'll look for it in the roots and in the open bits of stem and so on, for stored sugars probably in the form of starch to break down. But it is just such a slow 
long for them to do this. So by leaving 50% of the growth, it's much better in terms of recovery and a better plan for winter interest next year. Thank you.